Good morning and good games. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and this is my definitive, 100% accurate, cannot be disputed tier list for the Ravnica Guild. Let's kick it off, of course, with Azorius. All right, Azorius. So Azorius, it's pretty mid, I think, as far as guilds go. You know, its first mechanic forecast was not very inspiring. Addendum, also not that inspiring of a mechanic, so it's had kind of a rough go of it. There are some fun cards there. They're fun to meme with. I do love like a good, a good a petition, persistent petitioners meme. But this one's pretty middle of the pack for me. I'm gonna give it a solid C on, uh, on Azorius. Any thoughts on Dovin in particular? I think he's bomb. That's, that's, all I, that's all I got. That's what I got. Dovin's fine. Dovin's fine. Nothing, nothing wrong with him. Once again, he's, he embodies the Zorius. Just kind of mid, you know? C, C minus. That's where I put these guys. All right, Boros, they're an all timer. Boros is excellent. You got some great cards like Lightning Helix, for example. I like the Battalion mechanic. I think Mentor is a great mechanic. It does get dinged by the Radiance mechanic, which is really an all time stinker. But I still think pretty good. And B is for Boros, so a nice B for Boros here. Okay, Demir is very straightforward. There's only one ranking you could possibly give Demir, and that is unranked, because they don't like to be known. What is the Demir anyway? Unranked for Demir. Golgari, the Undercity. All right, so we've got Dredge, of course. Broken mechanic, strong mechanic, but a broken mechanic. We've got Undergrowth, which is pretty fun. Didn't really break through that much, but it's pretty enjoyable. And Scavenge, which is a nice mechanic. There's some cool cards that have come out of them in general. They're like a solid, like above middle of the pack, not perfect yield. Give them a solid B minus. And what's your favorite card with Dredge? Favorite card with Dredge, Life from the Loam. It's an all-timer for me, and in fact, I qualified for my first pro tour playing Life from the Loam, so card means a lot. Gruel Smash, and also Gruel Awesome. Big creatures, handful of iconic cards, the mechanics, all decent, right? You've got Blood Thirst, which is great. Blood Rush, which all didn't hit break through when constructed. Surprisingly great as well. So some, some good mechanical mixes there. Um, it, it doesn't have like as iconic of a card as many of the other guilds do, right? There's not like the lightning heals you point to necessarily. You've got a few a few strong ones, but you know, nothing like in the, quite in that category. But I still think it's, it's a fantastic guild. It's had a lot of success. People really like it. I'm gonna go with a solid B plus to A minus on the gruel. Is it? Come on, baby. That's an A. A number one. Because one, they've got Niv Mizzet, who is the greatest. The, the man who made sure there were no other sentient dragons on Ravnica, so he could be number one. The mechanics, all really fun. I love Overload, great mechanic. I really enjoy um, Replicate, Replicate, awesome mechanic. Um, they're just really enjoyable to play with. I would give them a very solid A. Great job, is it? You've done a good job. Ah, the tricky, troubled Orzhov. So, got quite an interesting history here, right? You've got Haunt as uh, one of, a pretty rough mechanic. Haunt is not a great mechanic. It's pretty, pretty rough to work with. You've got Extort, which ended up kind of on the more powerful side than I think we would have preferred for it to end up. And Afterlife, which is pretty in the middle of the pack. Now, the flavor of Orzhov is some of the best, right? People love the kind of spirits and dead of the Orzhov. That's pretty nice. I think, I think still Haunt's gonna drag it down for me. So I'm gonna give this one a B. The Rakdos like the party. Now, they've got a bit of a, of a storied history. There's some cool Rakdos cards that have come out of it, but every time it never seems to quite break into the, the front, as it were, I'm gonna give Rakdos a solid C. Selesnia, frankly, another all-time banger. Convoke the mechanic so good we used it twice across the Ravnica sets. Populate, another banger mechanic. Players love going wide with tokens. It's got some really iconic cards. You gotta love Selesnia. That's an A for me. Simic, now this is a tricky one. Because the Simic are actually, I think, not that well supported, right? You look at their mechanical suite, it just has not been that awesome, right? You've got Adapt, very middle of the pack. You've got Graft, middle of the pack or worse, right? The Simic have not done that well mechanically. There are not a lot of super iconic Simic cards that have come out of Africa. You've got Growth Spiral, I guess, which is, which is really nice, but a lot of, uh, not that many big, big hitters. But the flip side of it is people love Simic, right? So despite the fact that the mechanics have not been that strong, Simic is beloved. People love the mad science. They love the fun creature type combinations. So I think if it was just going on the mechanical suite, I would probably give Simic like a D, frankly. But people do like it. I think the flavor is really good. So I'm gonna bump it up to a C. Ravnica is like a really big set for me. You know, my first real competitive streak came from the original Ravnica block. My first set at Wizards was Return to Ravnica, and the first set I really got to try giving my hand at leading at, along with Eric Lauer, was um, uh, Guilds of Ravnica. So like, Ravnica is a storied history for me. 
and I'm so stoked for the upcoming Ravnica Remastered to kind of bring all those histories back together and let me, a magic boomer, experience my glory days and let many new players out there try out these cards for the first time. So hope you all enjoy Ravnica Remastered. I don't do S tiers because A is the largest letter. What is an S for anyway?